We have junior outfielder Ian Farrow. We'll go straight into questions for Ian. Ian, can I ask you about your relationship with Ronnie? Uh, he said that you guys were roommates at FGC. Now you're roommates again? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, me and Ronnie, we have a great relationship. You know, I got to, I've known him for a long time you know, from FGCU, so uh, he's a great guy, a great teammate, a great friend. So. I mean, obviously, I haven't played the game yet, but what's been the biggest adjustment so far to, to being at Miami? I'd say just, uh, you know, it's a lot more work and a lot more fast paced. You know, the guys are a lot better. Uh, you know, we work a lot harder here, and, uh, you know, it's, it's been great, though. Ian, having come to this ballpark for so many midweek matchups over the past few years, how different does it feel to wear orange and green? And what have you noticed about the locker room this far? Yeah, it is a lot different. Um, it's a lot cooler, you know. I've always, I've always wanted to be at Miami uh, since high school, so um, you know, it feels feels good to be in the, the green and orange. But being from Air Island over here in Florida, towards the east side of the coast, was that always your dream to be here at Miami? Or do you feel like that's something that's fully accomplished now? Yeah, I've always wanted, I always wanted to stay home. You know, Miami was always a great spot, great spot, great school, uh, bigger school, and. Uh, Big stage, so yeah, I've always wanted to be here. You make stops here at the light when you were younger to come mm -hmm. see the Canes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you? It was awesome, you know. Uh, the atmosphere was awesome. Um, I got the uh, privilege of coming to see one of the guys from my high school player, too. And it was just really cool. What do you uh, What do you like about the uh, the makeup of this year's uh, this year's team? I uh, I think we have a lot of depth uh, all around. You know, we have, we have got a lot of good hitters, a lot of good uh, pitchers, and I think we have a chance to make a good run. What, what do you think the strongest thing is? Because you can, everybody says that we got a lot of good hitters, we got a lot of good pitchers. But what, what's going to set you guys apart? I think hitting. I think we have uh, depth all around. Like I think our starters are going to be really good, and we have a lot of depth um, on the bench too. Gino said that when he put the lineup up for the uh, alumni game, that that's where you realize, hey. There's only nine spots, but everybody has to be ready because there is depth. Exactly, yeah. Everybody's got to be ready, and you know, um, I think we are ready. You know, we've all worked hard, and we're all ready to get get going. How is the um, the new facility, the weight room, been for you? I know you're just new to the program, but Judah Mario was really talking a lot about that. Um, how has that sort of bolstered this kind of program's preparation for the season this week? It's awesome. I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of different technology in there. You know, stuff I've never heard of, and um, you know. Uh, it's going to really help us, I think, uh, come on during the season. You know, we're a lot stronger and uh, feel great. Did the offseason feel quick for you all? I mean, I know maybe being for you new here in your first season, it may have gone by a little slower, but how did that kind of go for you? I think it went by pretty quick because, uh, you know, we're busy all day, every day. So, um, you know, I feel like it's the same most places, but, you know, you're just busy all the time, so it usually flies by. Uh, one common theme for these guys uh, was summer ball. A lot of these guys were in the Cape Cod. How often did you see them up there, and how did you notice you all kind of brought that same mentality into this season? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I saw them every now and then. We didn't play on the same. I didn't play on the same team as anybody from here. But um, you know, I think we all just have the same goal in mind. We want to make it back to Omaha, and uh, you know, we all worked hard this offseason for that. Gino was talking about uh, Dario Gomez probably going to play in center field. He mm -hmm. said he's been throwing guys out from center field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Dario, he's uh, he works hard, man. He's a really good player, and um, you know, I think he's going to do some really special things for us this year. How's your relationship grown with uh, Coach Lopes? He's been someone who's really developed a lot of catchers, but also some good power hitters over the years too. Awesome, you know, me and Lopes, we've watched a lot of film and we did a lot of work in the cages and um, he's really helped me, you know, to grow, um, you know, at this bigger stage and uh, I think he's gonna really help come this season. What was your reaction? Okay, last question for Ian here, just within the interest of time. What, what, was your, uh, what was your reaction when you first realized you were able to work with him? How was your first kind of exchange with him? I think it was really awesome because, you know, we didn't, um, I didn't have really much of a hitting coach before, so it was really nice to have somebody, you know, come in, you know, and show me different things and show me, you know, this is what you need to do to, you know, be great at this level. So, Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Ian. Thank you.